Hello, my name is Aaron Fisher and I am the Youth Livestock and Equine Specialist in the Department of Animal Science at the University of Tennessee. I am presenting a video study series focused on beef cattle related topics for the Skillathon. In today's episode, we will discuss the factors associated with the grading of beef carcasses, specifically quality grades and yield grades. A significant number of cattle are sold through value-based marketing programs, meaning that the producers are paid on the carcass merit of their animals. The two main factors in determining the value of a given carcass are quality grade and yield grade. Quality grade is an indicator of the expected flavor, tenderness, and juiciness of the meat. It is based on measures of marbling and maturity. Marbling, or intramuscular fat, is basically flex of fat within the muscle. Maturity is a measure of the relative age of the carcass, or how old the animal was when it was harvested. There are nine degrees of marbling for beef cattle. Abundant, moderately abundant, slightly abundant, moderate, modest, small, slight, traces, and practically devoid. Obviously, abundant is the most amount of marbling, while practically devoid is the least amount of marbling. Generally, more marbling present will result in a better quality grade. You can see in the meat pictures how much more marbling is present with moderately abundant than with small. Most people would probably choose the moderately abundant steak to eat over the steak with a small amount of marbling. Which one would you choose? Maturity is a measure of the relative age of the carcass or the age that the animal was when it was harvested. Since most of the time this is not known, with a given carcass, skeletal maturity and lean color are used to estimate maturity. Skeletal maturity looks at the ossification or whitening of the bones, while lean color looks at the color of the meat. A more mature carcass will have whiter looking bones and redder looking meat. There are five maturity groups, A through E. A maturity is the youngest group at 9 to 30 months of age, while E is the oldest group at greater than 90 months. When you think about the typical cycle of a beef calf through the various stages of beef production, most of these calves will fall in the A maturity group as they will be 15 to 24 months of age at harvest. You can see in the picture that the bones for A maturity are much redder than for D maturity, which are more ossified and thus are whiter in color. There are eight possible quality grades for beef cattle. Prime, Choice, Select, Standard, Commercial, Utility, Cutter, and Canner. Generally, Prime is the best, with Canner being the worst. Prime is generally considered the highest flavor and juiciness and will have the highest premium. Most meat nationwide falls into choice. The bottom four, commercial, utility, cutter, and canner are reserved for more advanced maturity. You can see in the graphic that to be in the top four quality grades, a carcass has to be either A or B maturity and to be prime, a carcass must have at least slightly abundant marbling, and to be choice, must have at least small marbling. Yield grade is an indicator of the quantity of meat from an individual carcass. Another term for this is cutability, which is the percentage of closely trimmed retail cuts from the round, loin, rib, and chuck. Generally, the lower the yield grade, the more meat that can be expected from the carcass. The relative percent cutability associated with each yield grade are listed in the table. Yield grade is based on measures of external fat, ribeye area, percent kidney, pelvic, and heart fat, and hot carcass weight. 
External fat is an indicator of the amount of fat on the carcass and has the most effect on the yield grade. It is measured in inches at the 12th rib. Depending on the breed and expected marketing strategy, the target external fat thickness is 0.2 to 0.5 inches. Generally, the leaner the carcass, the lower the numerical yield grade. Ribeye area is an indicator of the amount of muscle on the carcass. It is measured in square inches along the longissimus muscle at the 12th rib. Depending on breed and expected marketing strategy, the target ribeye area is 11 to 15 square inches. Generally, the higher the ribeye area, the lower the numerical yield grade. Percent kidney, pelvic, and heart fat, or percent KPH, is a measure of the fat on the carcass from internal organs. It is measured as a percentage of the total carcass weight. The average percent kidney, pelvic, and heart fat for a beef carcass is 2.5%. Generally, the lower the percent KPH, the lower the numerical yield grade. Hot carcass weight is the weight of the carcass before it is chilled and is measured in pounds. Depending on the breed and expected marketing strategy, the typical acceptable range for hot carcass weight is 600 to 900 pounds. Generally, the lower the hot carcass weight, the lower the numerical yield grade. To once again show that math is important, we are going to work through the formula for calculating yield grade. The yield grade formula is yield grade equals 2.5 plus 2.5 times external fat plus 0.2 times percent KPH minus 0.32 times ribeye area plus 0.0038 times hot carcass weight. If we use an example calf with a hot carcass weight of 750 pounds, external fat of 0.3 inches, a ribeye area of 12.8 square inches, and a percent KPH of 2.0, we can calculate the yield grade. By plugging in those values into the formula, we get a yield grade equals 2.5 plus 0.75 plus 0.4 minus 4.096 plus 2.85 for a final answer of 2.404. This could be rounded to a final yield grade of 2.4. I do not think it is important to memorize this formula, but I do think going through the calculations helps you remember how each factor can affect yield grade. Remember, we said earlier that external fat had the most effect on yield grade. You see this by it having the highest multiplier at 2.5 in the formula compared to ribeye area, hot carcass weight, and percent KPH. Also, by looking at the addition and subtraction signs, you can tell how each factor affects yield grade. For external fat, percent KPH, and hot carcass weight, there is an addition sign. That tells you that the higher each of those values, the higher the yield grade will be. There is a subtraction sign for ribeye area. That tells you that the higher the ribeye area, the lower the yield grade will be because you would be subtracting a higher number. That wraps up our discussion of beef carcass grading. Please understand that we just briefly described how quality grades and yield grades are developed and used in evaluating beef cattle carcass merit. I wish you the best of luck as you progress through your beef cattle project. Please let me know if I can ever be of assistance. Thank you and have a great day.